A former Supreme Court justice is pushing for the enactment of a new baselines law to finally implement the arbitral ruling on the West Philippine Sea. Mobile journalist Stanley Gahete gives us the front seat to the story. Five years ago next month, the Philippines won a landmark legal battle against China in The Hague. But the Philippines still has to enforce the ruling. The ruling gave the country economic rights to maritime domain, the West Philippine Sea, declaring China's excessive claims as illegal and invalidated its nine-dash line claim based on historical records. A former Supreme Court associate justice believed he has the solution to the problem dividing the country. Francis Hardalesa has written President Rodrigo Duterte suggesting to enact a new baseline law identifying land features in the West Philippine Sea to assert the country's claim. I sent today a letter to President uh, Duterte expressing some concern that five years have lapsed and yet the country remains divided on how best to enforce the arbitral, the arbitral award. The bill, the proposal, does not presume the authority to designate the claims of the country. So we, the intention of the authors is to merely leave that discussion to the government. Hardelesa and a group of maritime law experts have asked the president to certify as urgent a bill on a new baseline's law. The bill proposes to identify and name a total of 128 maritime features, rocks, reefs, Battles, submerged or just jutting out from the water as part of the country's jurisdiction. Legislation is an act of sovereignty that establishes territorial title. However, such legislation must pertain to, this, to the disputed territory rather than to a general territorial or maritime area. The proposed legislation names the individual features, thus, it constitutes an act of sovereignty in relation to its feature. This is especially necessary in features such as Baho de Masinlok and Pagasa, where Chinese and Vietnamese vessels are large, are always present. Unfortunately, we cannot wait for China or Vietnam or Malaysia to adopt baselines around the rocks that they are occupying. The bill thus draws baselines around <clears throat> the contested rocks precisely to enable the Philippines to exercise its rights in its uncontested EEZ. The old baselines law passed during the Gloria Arroyo administration is vague and lumped together all areas which are part of the Kalayaan Island group in the South China Sea. The trouble with 952 is that it does not name the features and it does not say which regime we are adopting regime of islands as rocks. Therefore, we only need to have a baseline um, generating a TS from each of these rocks. International laws require the country to identify the specific areas it claims, which the new baselines law addresses. But will China and other claimant states in the South China Sea accept the new baselines law? Of course China will oppose this, and of course China might even adopt its own baselines. The same with Malaysia and Vietnam. The thing is, if Malaysia adopts baselines around each rocks, then it would be an implicit acceptance and enforcement of the award. There is really no assurance the new law will resolve the country's maritime dispute with China. But for Hardelesa and the group of maritime law experts, it is a better option to assert what is rightfully belongs to the country. This is really why, uh, we, from our perspective, we need uh, this law to clarify. Uh, there was also a comment, uh, and I'm going just to, uh, to, to, to reflect that, uh, the co a comment from one of the organizers. And it's good that our media uh, personnel are here because it's really important we also tend to stoke uh, emotional uh, responses to what's happening in the SES, given our patriotism. But if we are not really uh, sure about the status of uh, the features there, then we might unnecessarily actually stoke uh, uh, emotions that are not helpful uh, in, dip in, uh, in diplomatic uh, co uh, relations. No? They said this is one option the president should not ignore. Means of enforcing the arbitral award and strengthening our territorial and maritime rights in the West Philippine Sea. Stanley Gehete, we are One News.